Hey guys, so today we're going to be showing you how to treat ammonia poisoning in fish. We recently have purchased a goldfish who had ammonia poisoning when we purchased it. And we are going to be going through a step-by-step -step process of how to set up a quarantine tank and how to treat ammonia poisoning. So I guess let's just get right into it. This is the big fins. So, you, um, you guys, this is the hospital tank that we're going to be setting up for bubbles. Um, we already got the gravel and the filter and the heater in, but we'll be showing you how to decorate it. And then um, we'll set it up and get her in and we'll watch how she reacts and heals up throughout this time. So, let's get on with it. So, the first thing we're going to add is a hide because you want them to be as happy and calm as possible during a treatment time. So... You can just kind of shimmy that in right there. That was a very fine. We got a little shell for her. Just thinking about putting that kind of there to cover up the filter some and then so that she doesn't get hurt by it. Just a little just a fun little decoration there. Really doesn't matter too much where you put stuff. Just, you know, just as long as it's reasonable. And once you're done with that, you can start to fill up your tank. Then once you're filled up, then you're going to want to add in some dechlorinator, whether you're on tap water or a well. There's always harmful metals, even if you have well water and then obviously chlorine, chloramine. So you just gotta get that out. It only takes one cap full for ours per 10 gallons. So fill that up and... Okay, so then once you get that out of the way, as I said, we do have ours installed, but you just want to get your stuff plugged in. Should be the filter and your heater and then I would just say let it give it like five minutes so you can just get that dechlorinator moving around and then you can add in your fish okay so we're just gonna quickly go over the instructions on how to acclimate a fish properly just just in case there's any confusion so you're just gonna want a bag big enough to fit your fish or a plastic container works as well you're just going to want to fill it up with enough water to where the fish can fully swim around. You don't want excessive amounts of water so that you can acclimate it quicker. Then once you have this, you're going to want to put the fish into here and then float it in your other in your next tank for about 30 minutes. On the safer side, for this amount, you could probably just do like 15. And then this is on debate, but you can either drip acclimate it. That's just slowly adding small amounts of water from the from the next tank into this bag or you can just add them directly in we'll probably just add them directly in and we've never had any problems with it so we're just going to quickly catch the fish for you you guys can watch us do that and then we will um, acclimate bubbles in okay so now that we've got the fish in the net we're going to transfer him to this bag um because he's bleeding internally already this is how we bought him it was quite sad um you can't like you don't want to you don't want to touch him it can damage his skin and stuff and make him scar forever so we're just gonna add him directly from the net to the bag all right we're gonna do that now and then we'll get you over to the 10 gallon while we were going to get bubbles right there she was uh in a in a really bad situation she uh was in a home about this big and about this tall at least like this tall and extremely small and for this right now it needs at least a 20 gallon and she was eternally bleeding and i said uh it's okay if it's a boy or a girl we're gonna get her out of here so we're, we got her out of here and we're helping her right now so that yeah okay guys so now we're going to add bubbles into the 10 gallon and just in case you're wondering, we did say that this kind of fish should have about 20 gallons, but we've already said this is a 10 gallon. We're, on, we're only putting her into a 10 gallon because it's a hospital tank and you don't want a fish moving around too much while you're trying to care for it so it does not injure itself further or spread the infection more. 
But now that we have that out of the way, let's add bubbles in. Okay, so now that we've got bubbles into the tank, um, that's basically it. We'll update you on how she's healing in maybe a week and show you how her bleeding has gone down. Thanks for watching.